Today, I'm gonna to show you how to upload a YouTube video with two different titles and to measure the results to tell which title will get you more views. This is called a split test or an A-B test. And when you run split tests on your titles, then you can discover which style of title will get you more views. And more views means more revenue faster. Let's get started with today's video. It's the Video Marketing School. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to two buttons dot com slash Owen video and sign in over here on the right hand side of the page now if you don't have an account with TubeBuddy then I put one in the link for you in the description box below once you log into the TubeBuddy website then you're going to see a page that looks like this and you'll simply scroll down to the YouTube channel that you want to run the split test on. You're going to hover over to this little half moon type icon. This is your A-B test or your split test function. Now, what's a split test and what's an A-B test? They mean the same thing. But what's important to note is that in a proper split test, you're testing one thing against an exact other thing. So you're testing, in this case, one title against another title so that you can see which type of title does better for your channel now if you don't have this little icon here don't worry it just means you need to upgrade your account to the legend plan when you do that you'll not only get the ability to split test your titles you'll also have the ability to split test your thumbnails you'll get access to the click magnet feature which is an amazing feature inside of TubeBuddy and you'll get all of these other advanced features. So click on A-B tests, and when you do that, we're now gonna be in the manage A-B tests area. And you can see here all of the current and past campaigns that I've run, and we're gonna dig into one of these in just a second. The first thing I wanna do is click on this green button here that says create your A-B test. And you can see in the upper area, they have this little kind of like dialogue to show you where you are in the process, but it's gonna ask you to select Select a video that you've already uploaded. This is key. It means you need to have already uploaded the main video to YouTube. And the title of that video that you uploaded, that will be the original or the main title. And we'll create a second title or a split test title to test against it. So make sure you upload your primary video first. So now what you're going to do is you're going to select a video. I'm just going to select this one right here. And it's already titled how to get email from your live stream viewers. Okay, that's already the title. And now it's asking me what type of A-B test would you like to run? A thumbnail CTR test, that's click-through rate test, or a metadata test, which allows you to test the title. I'm gonna pick the metadata test because I wanna split test one title against another title and see which one performs better. Now, if you wanna know how to split test different thumbnail designs, that's kind of a completely different topic, but I have made a video about it. It's on your screen now, and it's also in the description box, and you can watch that at your convenience. With the metadata test, it allows you to test your thumbnail, your title, your tags, and your description, but that's not scientific. That's not the best way to do it. The best way to run a split test is to test one title against an, like a polar opposite title. So maybe on one side, you're posting like a very SEO how-to type of how to do X, Y, Z, title, but then you're going to split test it against, let's say, a title with numbers in it, like how I made $6,427 with this strategy. Or maybe you want to use a viral title, like how I became a millionaire in just nine months. The point is only test titles against titles and thumbnails against thumbnails. Don't test a whole bunch of stuff at one time. So what I'm going to do is select the metadata test. And when it does, it gives me another option here on how long I want to run the test for. Now, it has to be for an even amount of days, right? Because you want to do like seven days with one and seven days with another. So you can select this and make this 14 days. You could make this 30 days. You could do whatever you want. Now, once you select, notice that the boxes kind of shrink up. It gives you a check mark and an X. If you want to go back because you made a mistake, just, just click the X and you can run back. So you can run your test for a number of days or you can run until your click-through rate or your CTR is statistically significant. And the reason that I like to do statistically significant is because you could potentially get results a lot faster. Now, for some of you watching this, it might take 30 days for you to get enough views on the video to reach statistical significance. But many of you watching also 
have very large channels. And for those of you watching, by running statistically significant tests, you could get results in an hour or two. So I'm gonna encourage you to, to run this until the click-through rate is statistically significant and click select, okay? Now, notice that the test won't start until midnight of your time zone. So wherever you are right now, the test will begin midnight your time, Cinderella. And then you'll click continue. Okay, now it's gonna ask you to split test your thumbnail, but because we're only testing titles on this one, we're just gonna click continue. Now it's asking you, do you wanna test different tags? Not today, Junior, we're just gonna click continue. And now what we're gonna do is we've got the original title and we've got our test title. So our original title is a how-to title, how to get email from your live stream viewers. Now in my test title, I could do something easily as like how to get email subscribers from your live stream viewers or I could even change it to like from your your live stream show but to me that's not enough of a test see when you split test the title you want to split test some very specific things like maybe using numbers in one title but then using all caps in another title or maybe going with a long title over here and then a very short title over there you want to know what you're testing because the goal here is to run a couple different title split tests so that you can find out which style of titles maybe even you know find two or three great styles of titles that your audience really connects to so take a calculated approach and be sure to compare apples to oranges to see which bears more fruit hey that's good apples oranges make more citrus jokes so what I'm going to do under test titles, I'm going to put, I got 3,141 new email subscribers by doing this. Okay. And maybe I'll, I'll new, I'll capitalize as well. All right. So these are two completely different titles. One is how to, and one is I got 3,000 and I, I'm using numbers here. So let's see if that works. Now, if you want some advice on how to split test your title, TubeBuddy does have you know, some, some tips and tricks right here, which might, you know, be helpful for you. Take a look at those if you think it's the right thing to do and go ahead and click continue. Now it's going to ask you if you want to change your descriptions. Again, you're not changing anything except the title. This is absolutely key because you don't want to be testing too many things. So when you're done here, you're going to click start test. TubeBuddy's going to ask you to confirm, click yes. And now it's creating your test for you. You'll land on a page like this. Now you just sit and wait for the test to run, but I've got a special treat for you. I'm going to show you how to see which title actually won the test. And I'm going to show you the results of a test that I've run. So you can see the kind of data that you'll get from TubeBuddy. To do that, go back to the page here, hover over to the left-hand side here where it says AB test and click on manage. And then that'll get you back to the homepage. That'll show you what is pending here and what is waiting to start. Now I'm actually going to scroll down here to this uh, title test that I've done in the past and I'm going to click on it because you can see that it is complete and that the variation click-through rate CTR it's a very important term CTR click-through rate uh, was 37 percent higher so when a test is done you can come here and click on it and then you get a chart that looks like this on the left hand side you'll see this big green box that says test is complete based on the click-through rate the variation version, so the test version, is the outperformed your original by 36.99%. What now? We recommend updating your video to the variation version. So I can click that, and when I do that, TubeBuddy is auto-changing the titles for me so I don't have to go back into YouTube Studio and do it myself. Let's take a look at the rest of these numbers. Now, over here on the right-hand side of the uh, data analysis, they want a 95% confidence level, which is like sort of like basic statistics. You're not always gonna get that high. So for me, 80.27% is, is good enough. I don't want you to be in a place where you're like, ah, oh, TubeBuddy said it's not statistically significant but it's like 87%, 80% is a good number. So look at the whole number and remember that some of these warnings are just disclaimers. But let's take a look at these numbers. The biggest one is CTR, right? Because more people click on your video, the more views you get, the more views you get, the more watch time you get, and that's 
how you grow a YouTube channel. So this has a 3.1% CTR where this one had a 2.28, right? So we're gonna go with the bigger number. But we can also look at impressions and it looks like the variation actually had fewer impressions. So that's interesting. I also can look at my watch time per impression. So the original title only had 4.5 seconds of watch time per impression. This one had 7.8, which is about 80% more. That's that's a big, big number. I can look at daily impressions and daily clicks, which are sometimes interesting and sometimes boring. And then I can look at my, my total views. So you see here that this had smaller views, but a higher CTR. And that could have easily changed if I let this run for a few more days. My average view duration was about the same. That one second isn't enough to make me cry. But the average total minutes watched obviously relates directly to the amount of impressions that the video got and it's no surprise that the variation had smaller total minutes watched, but over time, it's going to get more because the click-through rate is much higher. And then down here under traffic sources, you get even more data. You can click on view engagement stats to see even more data. So there's no doubt that TubeBuddy gives you a ton of data so that you can be very sure about the decision you're making. Now, if you're in a place where you wanna start split testing your titles, then go to the link in the description box and upgrade your TubeBuddy plan to legend. Then I recommend you run as many title split tests as you can in 30 days. Go back to some old videos, run some split tests on those titles. All your new videos, run a split test on them. Get a ton of data. And then once you have that data, downgrade your TubeBuddy plan back to the regular plan if that makes sense to you. Otherwise, keep the legend planned and keep all the great tools that come with it. Now, if you wanna learn how to split test your thumb nails. That's a slightly different process. And I'll walk you through that over here. Going image for image can really do some great stuff for your channel. So click on that video now. I'm Owen and I'll see you there.